Our today's video is about the comparison between Coulomb's law and gravitational law. Gravitational law deals with the force between two masses, but the Coulomb's law deals with the force between two charges. Both of these laws, gravitational law which is F is equal to G M1 M2 divided by R square and Coulomb's law which is F is equal to K Q1 Q2 divided by R square are known as inverse square law because this F force in both of these equations is uh, inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two masses while in the case of Coulomb's law to the square of the distance of separation between the two charges. The gravitational force is always attractive. If we have two masses and they are separated by a distance of r, then the force between mass m1 and mass m2 is always attractive. While in the case of Coulomb's law, the force between similar charges is repulsive while the force between opposite charges is electron, this is proton, so the force between them will be attractive. The third difference between the gravitational law and the Coulomb's law is that the gravitational law does not depend on the medium. This capital G, which is also known as universal gravitational constant, is equal to 6.6742 multiply 10 power minus 11. This is the value of this universal gravitational constant and this value is fixed. While in the case of Coulomb's law, this k which is the constant of proportionality in this uh, Coulomb's law equation is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught where epsilon naught is the permeability of free space. But when we deal with the medium, then this value of epsilon naught changes to epsilon r and epsilon naught, where epsilon r is the relative permittivity of a space. So th these two equations result to different values. That's why the Coulomb force depends on the medium, while the gravitational force is very weak. But the Coulomb's force is very strong. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos. Thank you.